Good, Good morning, morning Panthers. Panthers, and welcome back to another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Ella Ben. I'm Alvaro Hera. Bringing Chargers latest to you. you. Monday, October 1st through the 31st, Key Club is collecting their UNICEF trick or treat donations. This Monday, Ben's having a monster mini golf fundraiser. See Ms. Fernandez for more information. And this Wednesday is the yearbook dinner night at Chipotle. This Thursday is a junior wing class ceremony. Make sure your payments are in. And this Friday is a yearbook's jeans day. Also seniors, this Friday your senior bios are due. And this Saturday is the senior class car wash. See Shank for more info. Also this Saturday is the key club kickoff at Broward College from 12 to 4. Now here's Emily with CSPN. Hey Panthers, welcome to the first 2018-2019 CSPN. Today there's a varsity football game at Coral Springs High at 7. Go out and attend. Tomorrow there's a swim meet at Central Park at 7 o'clock a.m. And next Wednesday there's a 6 o'clock JV football game at Pompano High. Here are some plays from the blackout football game. And that's it for today's episode. Tune in next week to see another episode on CSPN. Bye Panthers! See you at the football game. Now here's Fine Arts. Hey Panthers! I'm Jenna. I'm Kayla. And today we're going to be introducing you to the Fine Arts Department. Hi, I'm Miss Butler. I teach high school theater and film. Um, my expectations are that my students will approach the various activities in class with an open mind and positivity and creativity. To me, creativity is the most important thing. Hi, I'm Mr. Graber. I teach middle and, middle and high school art classes. Uh, right now I'm in the middle high school drawing class. Uh, my expectations for this year is to make sure that all of my students enjoy the arts, uh, that they realize that art is not necessarily talent alone, a lot of it is creativity and persistence. I'm Mrs. Lindsay, I teach AP art, ceramics, and 3D design. My hope is that everybody in AP art passes their portfolio and gets college credit. Hi, I'm Mrs. Marissa Fernandez. I teach middle school band here at Falls Bay Star. Uh, for this school year, my main goal is just that my students have a really great time. Um, I want them to learn new skills, and I want them to, uh, basically, I want them to love band so much that they come back next year. Hi, my name is Ms. Webb. I teach middle school and high school chorus, and I'm also the fine arts department chair. My expectations for this year are for the students to obviously have a really good time in class. Um, we are waiting right now to hear if we have made it to Disney Candlelight Processional, which we should hear in the next couple of weeks. And that's all for Fine Arts News. Bye! Up next is Guido on Behind the ID. Hi, my name is Guido Margiota. I'm Argentinian and Italian, and I'm a senior at Coral Springs Charter School. I've been playing tennis for eight years, and I've overcome many challenges in my life, like obtaining my academic life with my athletic life. Lately, I've been working on my serve a lot because it's a very important aspect of the sport. I need to take advantage of it because of how tall I am and there's very strong competitors out there that I need to start the point off right to win the points. Tennis has been very difficult for me because I've had many bad habits in the past and I've had four coaches who've been trying to fix my bad habits, but it's very difficult because for the past eight years, I've been learning the wrong type of tennis, the wrong technique. For example, if someone who's been playing for three years with the right coach might even be better than me. Which is very sad and <laughs> depressing. Regardless of that, I have been drastically improving over the years in tennis. And I can't wait to further help, and as my last year as senior, help my team make it to states. Hey, I'm Jun Hao. I'm Guido's doubles partner. Uh, basically, doubles is when two people play two people in tennis. Guido's amazing at volleys, and we've only had four losses this year out of 12 matches. So yeah, Guido. Now here's Student Life with the topic of new security in the school. Good morning, everybody. I'm Joel Gomez. And I'm Mariana Diaz. Welcome to the first installment of Student Life. Today, we'll be talking about the new security measures that Charter installed over the summer. Today, we'll be getting a few students to voice their thoughts on these changes. Hi, my name is Garrett Shanley. I'm a sophomore here. I think the new changes give an element and a feeling of security. I'm not sure what the specifics are. They didn't really break that down for us, but I think in terms of outside of the school, the changes we can make um, in terms of gun control are going to help, but 
in terms of what's going to happen here. I know there's a program that they're starting where parents can volunteer as security guards. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be, but I feel like if we just cover all our blind spots, then we'll be fine in the end. Uh, um, I think these improvements will make the school safer because it's harder for people to break in by jumping the fences and stuff, but I think we could put the fences up a little bit more because it's kind of easy a little bit to jump it, but it's okay for the improvement right now. See you next week on Student Life. Now here's Kyla and Morgan with SGA. Hey guys, it's Morgan. And Devin from SGA. Attention SGA council members. This is your last chance to sign up for our first SGA team bonding event. It's open to any interested council members. Devin, are you ready for Spirit Week? Yeah, I am. SGA has been working very hard to put together an amazing Spirit Week. Stay tuned for more details. SGA is also looking for more talent for our first pumpkin festival. You can pick up a form in room 144. Hey Morgan, make sure you save the date for our first color run on November 17th. Sure thing, it's at the Sportsplex track. Yeah, more info on registration will be available soon. I heard SGA is looking for sponsors to help at the event. Right. If your parents are interested in having their logo on a t-shirt and or on signs around the track, email sgacscs at gmail.com for more info. Morgan, do you know when homecoming tickets are being sold? Homecoming tickets will start being sold for $65 on October 1st after school near the Panther or, or at lunches on B-Days. Thanks. That's all for this week. Once a Panther, always a Panther. And last but not least, promos. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Ella Ben. And I'm Alvaro Herrera. Bringing Charter's latest to you. you. Bye, see you next week. Have a nice weekend.